On the weekend of St George's Day, Tamworth has been transformed into a medieval paradise with jousting, mob football and food fit for a saint. Legend has it that St George arrived upon a village where a dragon was terrorising the local people and after slaying the beast, villagers held a feast in tribute to his bravery. In Tamworth, capital of the ancient kingdom of Mercia, the council celebrate the English patron saint with a free fun day for all the family. Head of events, A.D. Ramsell, explains what's on show. So we've been doing St George's Day in Tamworth for over 14 years and it's just grown over the years and what we have today we have, as you can see, we've got the living history encampment here, the medieval immersive um, campsite. Over in the main arena we have the jousting, the skirmishes, we have the animatronic dragon and we've got the castle open of course, we've got activities for the kids. So there's so much going on that ev everyone can come down, all the families, and immerse themselves in the in the atmosphere of the medieval times and St George. St George's status as a warrior made him an inspiration for the Crusaders. And jouster at this event, Christabel Clark, explains why folklore has created the image of St George as a knight in shining armour. Well, jousting was something that noblemen would do and knights would do to compete with each other in between kind of downtime of war. So to keep their skills up, but eventually it just became something they loved doing for fun as well. St George was this kind of noble chivalric knight who really uh, protected the little person and, and um, it stood up for people. And that's hopefully something we'll, we'll show in our uh, show today. The origin of this flag and its connection to St George is not clearly documented, but it is known that English crusaders rode into battle with the flag in the 12th century. Fast forward to the present day, do people still care about celebrating our patron saint? I think it's just an excuse to come out and be, be proud as well of our country, I think. And why not? We should celebrate that, you know. And it's a lovely time for everyone to get together, all families, all generations, to come and enjoy it and you know, to really mark this special day. I think it's a really special day, St George's Day, and I don't think it should be pushed under the rug, definitely not. I walk around here a lot and, um, you know, we walk past the castle and we take it for granted, but actually so many people come to see the castle. Um, so it just brings to life all the good stuff that's happening around here and it makes you... Uh, kind of realise uh, what it was like back in the day um, uh, and I guess that's why a lot of people are here today. Good, nothing ever happens St George's Day, it's always generally Paddy's Day which uh, we've got a big Irish heritage and it's nice but it's nice to see it for our own patron saint. Whether there really was a slay dragon or not, St George's legacy has lasted for over a thousand years. In England, people up and down the country use the day to celebrate our history and the people we have become. Jack Carson, GB News, Tamworth.